This video has been credited in part with stopping Ali's speaking tour. You're not here to help us or stand with us. You're here to profit from an industry that exists to dehumanise us. I cannot think of a system of law that dehumanises and degrades women more than Islamic law. These are people who are far more interested in defending Sharia law, that's Islamic law, and uh, the doctrine of radical Islam over human rights. Everywhere where Sharia law is applied, women are robbed of their rights and their dignity. The burqa that covers the face, and that is really very much in your face, the kind of thing that stands out in the mall, um, that is just like the ISIS flag. It's like wearing a very big swastika. Ayan Hirsi Ali was born into a Somali Muslim family. She suffered genital mutilation at age five, fled a forced marriage to the Netherlands, where she became a politician. She renounced Islam after the 9-11 attacks. After appearing in a film about Islam's cruelty to women, the director was murdered. She's been living under constant guard ever since. Pauline Hanson from the One Nation political party has called for a ban on Muslim immigration and a ban on the burqa. Are either of those two things appropriate for Australia, do you think? Well, a ban on immigration means all immigrants, all immigrants. Uh, it's the assumption that all immigrants are bad and all Muslims are bad. I don't hold that view. Can we expect you to come to our shores and speak to us anytime soon? Uh, yes, absolutely. I feel very welcome and I really feel I am in, uh, in a free country. The only thing I hope is for Australians not to take that freedom for granted but to defend it.